Good morning. Welcome members of the media, alumni, faculty, staff, students, and fans of Norwich University Athletics here in Kreitzberg Arena today, as well as those viewing online. My name is Derek Dunning, and I'm the Director of Athletic Communications here at Norwich University. Thank you for attending today's press conference. It is my honor to introduce Director of Athletics at Norwich University, Mr. Tony Mariano, to kick off today's, today's announcement regarding Norwich University hockey. Well, thanks, Derek, and uh, again, welcome to everybody. Thanks for coming uh, today. Um, earlier this week, men's hockey coach Mike McShane advised me of his plans to retire from leading our men's hockey program effective July 31st. After a 23-year career here at Norwich that began in 1995, and after a 46-year career in coaching, Mike has established himself as one of the best coaches in all NCAA divisions. He ends his career with 741 career wins, ranking him seventh all-time in NCAA history. His teams have competed in 16 NCAA tournaments and have made 12 Frozen Four appearances. He coached Norwich to its first national championship in 2000, and followed that by winning three more in 2003, 2010, and 2017. He finished his Norwich career with a record of 497 wins, 130 losses, and 38 ties for a 776 winning percentage. And the remarkable thing is his teams had never posted a losing record. Over the course of his coaching career, with stops at New Hampton Prep, Dartmouth, St. Lawrence, and Providence, Mike was named Coach of the Year 25 times, including five Edward Jeremiah Awards by the American Hockey Coaches Association as the College Division Coach of the Year while at Norwich. His student athletes have represented Norwich with great honor and distinction, both on the ice and in the classroom, which is a direct reflection of Mike's leadership of Norwich hockey for all of these years. A consummate professional and outstanding coach and mentor, he will be greatly missed by all of us here at Norwich. Along with the Norwich community, I wish him all the best in his retirement that he so richly deserves. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to introduce to you Mike McShane. Thank you, Tony, for those kind words. Uh, well appreciated. And welcome to our house. This is our beautiful building here, and most of you have been in it. And you've sat up there, and I've got one quick story. About 10 years ago, when Steve Matson's father was still alive, we had our first banquet here inside the rink at the end of the season. And I was sitting, uh, standing with Mr. Matson, talking to him right in this area here, and he, he said, Mike, uh, you know, I never knew this building existed on campus. I says, Mr. Matson, you've been to our games how many times? He goes, well, where's the rink from here? <laughs> so it is a little bit of a different look. You're down on the floor. And in a week from now, our hockey school begins. So there'll be ice right where you are. And uh, Fred Cohn and his, his staff do such an outstanding job um, making it look beautiful, what we did with the uh, Women's National Championship and how the staff here at the, the school put everything together. First class as always and uh, well appreciated. I'm not superstitious, but my wife said, why are you wearing those socks? And I have these socks here, these striped socks here. And I go, well, uh, last year, those are the socks uh, that I wore for our national championship. After we lost the one game and then one afterwards, they were the, and I wore them to every single game. So I thought it would be good to wear them tonight uh, for my last talk. Wednesday morning, I met with President Snyder, Vice President Vanacek, 
and our athletic director, Tony Mariano, to inform them of my intention to retire July 31st. The decision came after serious consultation with my family, consideration of the future of the men's hockey team here at Norwich, and simply, it was the right time. I am very proud of our national championship last season and the three that came before it. But I am just as proud of our team this year and the accomplishments they made. We lost 10 seniors last year, and this year uh, we rebuilt the program. Some people say we reload, we don't build, rebuild, but uh, we had an excellent season. I was very proud of the boys and how they handled everything, and I thought this was the time to go out. We have an excellent group of returning players, and Coach Matson has, as always, worked hard to bring an outstanding class of recruits for this upcoming season. I believe the program is well positioned to continue its success for many years to come. I have talked to all the recruits in the last day. Yesterday we spent the whole day on the phone talking to our recruits and our returning players and our captains. All were very positive and understood where I was coming from and I echoed the words of President Snyder and Tony Mariano that Norwich was going to stay number one. We were going to get a great coach, and we were going to secure and make sure that everything is intact for us to be successful. Steve and his staff assistants are staying on. They are, no matter who gets the coaching position, they are going to stay on at least for one season to help the new coach uh, find his way around a little bit. and. Uh, obviously work with the young players that we have coming in. My 46-year coaching career has been blessed, and I could not have been better supported by my family and friends, alumni in the Blue Lion Club. President Richard Snyder, Vice President Frank Vanacek, Athletic Director Tony Mariano, General Mike Kelly, and one of my first bosses, Dr. Richard Hansen were all tremendously supportive of what we are doing here. Also, I'm very proud of all the players that I've coached here at Norwich for the last 23 years, and many players that came before them. Our alumni group did nothing but help me when I got the job. When we started winning and winning big, they jumped on the bandwagon and really supported us. And that made all the difference in the world. I want to say special thanks to the media for coming today. The attitude of the media and the support we have had from you has helped our program promote its excellency throughout the whole Central of Vermont. We are Central Vermont's team. Norwich University hockey team is Central Vermont's hockey team, and we're very proud of that, and the media has done a great job. My great friend George Como, on the radio, WDEV, and television has been nothing but perfect. I hear it all the time from professional scouts that drive up to Montreal to scout, and they say, I hear your games on radio, and it's unbelievable. Who is that announcer? And I said, it's George Como. You remember the UVM? He's, he's the A1, and George, congratulations on your ECAC Media Award, by the way, which you just got. I'd like to have a little hand on that for George. I'm also thankful to all the assistant coaches I have had, not just here at Norwich, but the other schools that I've worked at. Many of them have gone on to become head coaches and very successful at their schools. Without good assistant coaches, you cannot be successful. I know that. Steve has done such a great job. Where is Steve? Steve, could you stand, please? In the spring, we call him Hollywood, but uh, he, he does an outstanding job with the parents and, uh, and our recruits and the, and the kids that come in and helps monitor the academics. And as you know, we've been very fortunate to have a lot of great student athletes here at Norwich. Many of them you met and know, and uh, they represent the school very well. I'm very, very proud of that. I'm looking forward to spending a lot more time with my family continue to work at Elite Hockey 
and expanding upon the leadership co course, which I taught last fall, and I plan on teaching it again this year. As for my replacement, I anticipate there will be a high level of interest. President Snyder and the administration has asked me to take an active role in the search for the next head coach. I am enthusiastic about this opportunity, and I know working with the administration, we will attract the most qualified and capable individual to lead this program. In closing, I'd like to thank the parents who put their sons in, in my trust and all the players who allowed me to coach them and monitor them. In my 46-year career at Exeter Academy, New Hampton School, Dartmouth, St. Lawrence, Providence, and above all, the great school of Norwich University, I'd like to especially thank Charlie Holden, Dave Maxwell, Alan Doyle, Fred Kreitzberg, Steve Burkholz, and all the Blue Line Club members and directors in past and present. And last, I would like to thank my family, my sisters Patty and Diana, my brothers Tom and John, my son Danny, my daughter Megan, and her husband Justin, and their beautiful baby Max, who I'll be coaching next year. Above all, I would like to thank my wife, Sean, for a love and loyalty throughout the years. In closing, thank you very much. You've been great fans, great supporters. I love knowledge. Thank you. Coach, we are very proud of you, I have to tell you. And it's been a thrill to uh, sit up there in the president's chair and watch you work and teach and cheer them on or kick them in the butt when they need it. And you have been uh, exquisite in that. So congratulations. So the Norwich family, and I'm so glad so many of you are here. Uh, this is the the real true core about which the rest of the Blue Line Club and other things form, and we do appreciate you all for being here. But we're all connected by stories and traditions and memories and hopes and dreams. We're connected by the legacies passed down from those who came before us and the legacies we pass down to those who come after us. And boy, Coach, there are a ton of legacies you are leaving here. You know, 23 years as a head coach is a long time at one institution. And uh, there are a lot of legacies you are leaving us, especially your drive towards excellence. The men's hockey program under Coach McShane holds a very special place in Norwich history. In our university's bicentennial year of legacy, it's important that we recognize and appreciate Coach McShane for his 23 years of mentorship, guidance of our student athletes, and our men's hockey program. Our students, faculty, staff, and coaches, and our alumni, and all of our fan base have all enjoyed many incredible, thrilling victories, and a few agonizing defeats, too, <laughs> here in the Kreitzberg. And by the way, I did call Fred Kreitzberg, and he wanted to send his warm regards to everyone. I think he's still in shock, too, for Mike, but uh, sends his best regards to you. Coach McShane represents everything that's great about Norwich athletics. Passion, commitment to our program and our students have been the cornerstone of his professional life. Needless to say, his skates will be difficult to fill. But we must look to the future and continue to build on our past successes by investing in high caliber leaders. At Norwich, it's all about leadership. A search committee has been formed, and as you heard, I've asked Coach to be 
right in the middle of this search because it's a small hockey community and he knows everyone. And they certainly know him. And the fact that we have such a strong program, I think will, and Tony attested to this when we met with Coach, we'll have hundreds of people interested in this incredible opportunity that you have prepared for someone else. I've named Professor of Spanish Stuart Robinson to chair the search committee. Stuart's a longtime hockey fanatic. You've seen him all here every game. The students love him, and all the faculty and staff so respect him. And so he will be named as chair. The committee will also include the women's head hockey coach, Mark Boulding, who is also a Norwich graduate, and the men's rugby head coach, Bobby Wegler. And to that group, I've added Megan uh, Drum, who is our director of financial aid. And in the end, as Coach and I know, it's all about the money, and we have to make it all work and uh, be able to attract the very best students. The search committee has a charge. The charge is that they are to present a minimum of two and a maximum of three candidates, finalists, to our athletic director, Tony Mariano, for his final selection. And the committee has to know that the three that they're recommending we would all love to have at Norwich. All the finalists will be meeting with all the student athletes and our coaches and our faculty and our Norwich community as we try to pick the person to replace Mike. And I'm not sure replace is the right word, but uh, the fact of the matter is we need to make sure the fit is good. And one thing that Coach and Steve have always worked on very hard here is to make sure the kind of student we get here fits Norwich. Now, I know this will be a shock for some of you, but this is not for everybody here. And playing on this team is not for everybody. It's all about commitment and passion and leadership and academics. And Coach is just as so much as a teacher as he is a coach. By the way, his graduation rate's 100% of the people that Steve bring for coach to consider, they are all very smart and they are all leaders in their own right and usually all graduate very near the very top of our senior class every year. Coach, I wanna personally thank you for your years of service to Norwich. I did that in a modest way, I guess, in the office. I gave him a challenge coin just as he stepped down from the podium, which I give to faculty and staff and students that do unbelievable work for school. You have built an unbelievable program here. He has shared his 46 years of coaching experience freely with all of our student athletes, our coaching staff, our hockey community. And I know he loves teaching. He's doing a fabulous job. I saw his student evals for the leadership course he taught. And he's going to, as he mentioned, going to continue to do that for us. So I love the fact that he's staying physically connected uh, so I can grab him when I need him. And uh, I really appreciate that. The hockey players he has recruited excel on and off the ice. I wish every program I had at Norwich, both academic and my academic provost is here and Tony is here. Wouldn't it be neat if 100% of every team and every academic program could graduate? But it's because of Mike and Steve and their commitment to academics, because you're not passing the puck if you're not passing the math class. It's pretty simple here. And academics is what it's all about at the end. Those who have played for Coach have had an unbelievable opportunity in life lessons. You have done a masterful job, Coach, with them. So we will miss you greatly from the bench, but I'm thrilled you're staying connected with Norwich. Norwich forever. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> you too. We'd now like to open it up to questions from the media. We have a few uh, 
We have a few members of the media here. Uh, we just asked that it, when, before you ask your question, please state your name and your affiliation. And uh, if you want to direct it towards a person, a certain person, let me know. If not, I'll try and moderate it from up here. So, any questions? Feel free to Jasper. I thought about uh, this for the last couple of years. Um, I'm getting a little older, so the, the numbers uh, added up. And uh, last year we won the national championship, and I thought maybe, and then we lost 10 players. So I said, this is not a good time to get out. So we, we stayed, and we, we had a good team this year. And um, uh, having um, said that, I think we're in good shape right now. The timing couldn't be better mm -hmm. for the program. Dr. Schneider's still here. Tony's still here. Dr. Banachek's still here. So the base of the strength of the school is here, and it will help support the new coach coming in rather than wait a couple of years when we're all might, we all not, might not be here. <laughs> then you, you never know. Uh, so I think that, and uh, the sense, uh, I spent some time with my grandson in the spring, and he lives in Florida. And uh, so, so do both my children. And I, I, I don't spend a lot of time with them living up here. And that's going to change. Mm -hmm. So that's the priority. Jack? Was that a factor at all in this decision? Winning last year? Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, you know, would I continue to go until I got number four or five? <laughs> <laughs> it all depends on the players we had coming in. <laughs> and I think we do have, I, I would say in the next couple of years, if not next year, uh, this team's going to be right up there. Um, so yeah, I could have stayed and got another one, but you know, uh, is poor enough, uh, and all the great players we've had. I think I've been very fortunate, and sometimes coaches can stay too long, even real good coaches. And I think right now is is good. I think it's time for me to move on. We'll bring in a great young coach that's going to bring a lot of uh, passion, I'm sure, to the program. And I think our kids will respect that and respond to them. George Como. Well, I think uh, our goal, George, if possible, is to have someone in place by the 1st of August. Um, we think that uh, uh, once uh, we start getting applications, uh, we'll be able to go through those um, and try to narrow that down as much as possible. You know, both, uh, certainly Mike uh, knows a large number of the coaches that are out there, you know, I know a few, but I've been out of it for a while, but uh, we think that we'll be able to narrow this search down fairly quickly and then bring uh, two or three or four candidates on campus towards the end of July. And if we need another couple of weeks, we'll take it, but uh, you know, our goal is to have someone in place before school begins, certainly. George, uh, one of the reasons we announced now is that all the recruits have committed. That wasn't the case a month ago. Quite a few. Uh, we, we got a lot in the last month done. When there's a coaching change, many times they decommit and they go other places. So uh, I wanted to make sure that was secure before. And right, exactly. Mike McKinn.
Well, I think the, the ultimate goal is to find the best possible coach we can get, no matter who that is. Um, and, uh, you know, if he's got ties to Norwich, that's great. If he doesn't, that's okay, too. Um, you know, when Mike and I came, we really didn't have any ties to Norwich. And, you know, uh, uh, I think things worked out pretty well. And, and we've had several other coaches that really didn't have ties to Norwich that uh, have had good success. So our goal is just to find the best coach, the best fit uh, for this program. And, and, you know, there's a lot of great coaches out there that I think would be very interested in this position. But a lot, of it, a lot of it has to do with fit. Mm -hmm. And it, we want that person to be able to fit into our university. And as President Schneider said, you know, this is a different place than um, a lot of places that many of these coaches have coached at or been at. And we want to make sure that they understand what Norwich is all about uh, and continue uh, with the traditions and uh, all those important things that uh, we've done and Mike has built uh, with this program. So uh, that's our goal, to find the best possible individual. Jasper. <laughs> I can tell you a lot of highs. <laughs> um, the biggest low is, I think, when we lost Mike Sereba. Oh, yeah. And there, are, and, and, uh, and there are many there are many highs. The first year I coached here, we went 500. I, I loved that team. <laughs> they were great. We won some big games. We upset a lot of teams. We didn't have the numbers, but we had the heart. We played in the old rink, and the guys worked hard. They painted all the stairs. And the, I, I went over to Dave McGeeter, and I wanted paint. And he, he said, well, we're going to tear that thing down in a couple of years. I said, yeah, well, I just had a parent come in and say the place looks lousy, so he gave me the paint. And we had, <laughs> we had Derek Alfarmer and the crew. Uh, Mark knows that. Mark Bolden, who was my first assistant coach here, did such an incredible job recruiting that first class of Ludwar and that crew. Mm. And uh, two years we were in the Final Four, but they worked hard. They took pride in the old rink. We cleaned it up, and uh, when they tore it down, they just tore down a nicely painted building. That's all. <laughs> that was ready to fall down. Right. <laughs> right. Jack. I can't hear. Most proud. Most proud. What do you most proud? What's the question? The biggest Both. thing I'm proud of, uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you a little story. Tony and I, last weekend, we were just at a St. Lawrence reunion, and it was a fundraiser for the hockey team. And all those guys that were there either played for me or I recruited. They're very highly successful. He had two general managers in the National Hockey League there. Um, great uh, student athletes, very proud uh, to be part of the St. Lawrence situation and all, and uh, very generous. And we have that here. So what am I, that's the most thing I'm proud of, is that the teams I have had, the legacies we've had, is that the guys are good guys. And they gave back to their school, and that you were proud of, not just as, a, as hockey players, but as people, and they stayed together close. Their friendships, you know, through the net now it's easy, but their camaraderie is unbelievable. And my wife witnessed this. She said, I can't, I can't believe how close these guys are still together. And I said, that's how it was at Providence, that's how it was at New Hampton, and that's how it's here. And that's, I think if there's anything, it, it, the wins and losses are great, but that's the most important thing. George. Obviously, uh, I, I love this building, and so many uh, coaches are jealous. A lot of Division I coaches are jealous of what we have here. Uh, we took our time, and you know, I, I coached in the old rink two years, and then I coached, we coached over in Barry a year. Uh, we didn't have a rink. Uh, we, were, we tore down uh, Taylor, and we were building this. But I was over here every day. Harold, I think he called he the president once to say, hey, will you get McShane out of here? He's driving me nuts. But <laughs> 
We, I was in here for almost every precast seat that went in, and the most important thing was the sight lines. I wanted to make sure that every seat was a, had good sight lines, so I brought Harold up the cannon, and I brought him this old barn. It was, it was, the sight line, of course, we can't, couldn't build it like that. He said, Mike, I can't. That's illegal. I said, well, get it as close to that. That's why I wanted to bring you here. Uh, the benches that we have are unique. There are not too many schools that have this. Um, Bowdoin copied. I work. I did a little consulting for Bowdoin uh, College, and their rink is basically the same our rink. rink that, yeah, our <laughs> rink. Our rink. Right. Only the atmosphere here, you can't take it away. The atmosphere, the wins, the championships, uh, the fans, the comebacks is engraved in this place. Jester. Tony just mentioned it. If the shoe fits, wear it. <laughs> it was a great fit. It, was, it really was. I knew it when I came up for an interview. I, well, I knew Norwich a long time before. I, I, I coached a prep school at New Hampton School, and we used to play a JV team. And in football, I was a football coach too. We played uh, the football team, you know, up here. And it was always in a beautiful fall day. And, uh, and I love Vermont. Mike knows uh, I, I love uh, going over to see his, his team play and Mike Gilligan, who was the coach of Vermont this year. And uh, I, I've, I've always loved the state. And the kids were so polite, opening doors, you know. And uh, so sometimes you just get a great feel. And I, I walked out. I, I came up here for an interview more to find out what they're looking for because one of the trustees asked me about certain coaches and so forth, and I left here saying, I want that job. Mm. I think it, that there's potential there to have a lot of fun. Mm. That's all the questions. That'll conclude today's press conference. So thank you very much for Thanks attending. Everybody. And thank you. Congratulations. What a day. What great questions <laughs> for you to think about. And now we've got this recorded. This is really cool. Thank you. Great comments. Oh my God, great answers on your questions too. Thank you. You have a lot to be proud of. Thank you.